Hi there. Okay, so it's time for another video on the um, Brahma 6. Uh, some of you may know if you've seen all these videos, I've been on a bit of a journey, as you can see by these pictures. Um, on the uh, bottom left, you can see is the original six way, which was what I was trying to achieve right from the beginning. Um, and it kind of morphed into the picture on the right hand side, which turned into a, to be honest, a god awful mess, um, which was about, uh, let's see, 10 cameras. Um, that didn't work. And the problem was I, I was having, as I've mentioned before, was the, the SJ4000, um, the aspect ratio and the vertical fill wasn't, wasn't good enough. Um, so it was just not capable of doing the job. So I moved to the Xiaomi Yi's, um, and, uh, everything changed completely. Uh, I can get a four, three aspect ratio. I can get a decent resolution. Um, they're, they're just as cheap. Uh, and so I designed, set about designing a mount for them. Uh, this is the second incarnation. The first one was a bit off. Yeah, I messed it up, that's if I was to be honest. Uh, it wasn't that by an awful lot, but it was enough to put some tear in and bits and pieces in the way and basic alignment of the lenses, that kind of thing. Um, and But now, as you can see, and it's just underneath my head, uh, is the picture of the latest version, which I'm going to show you shortly. Um, it's it's manufactured in uh, uh, I actually manufactured by a company called Shapeway, so they're actually three D printed. It's it's not manufactured as such. These are printed on demand, um, so a little bit more expensive than they need to be, to be fair. Um, but uh, this does mean that um, uh, they're still not that expensive. Right. So uh, let me just show you. Okay. So if you want to get one, if you want to build one of these rigs, now bearing in mind the whole systems cost me about now. I mean, I spent obviously a lot more on this getting it, but the system you can see in front of it with the cameras or the picture, uh, the rig is sixty-two pound as you can see here, and uh, this is the shop on Shapeways I've set up. Um, I do not make any profit on this. I'm not trying to make profit on this uh, mainly because it's just a three D, it's three D printed, um, but it's actually pretty good. Um, if if there's interest in this, I, I will turn it into a proper product. But there's a load of things that have to happen first. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But just for now, I think it's quite good. For, I mean, it's good for me. I built it for myself, and if it's useful to other people, so go to the shop. Uh, I'll put all the links in this video, so you can see um, it's it's uh, it, it's just sixty two pound of printing costs. It's the material they use. It's the best way of building these things. We tried doing it home printing, com was a mess. Um, it, they just kept they would break. Well, I just wouldn't print to be honest, so I kind of gave up on it. Um, but uh, this now has come out pretty good. Um, I may thicken the the arms, which I'll show you in a second. I may thicken the arms in a later version. I haven't decided yet. I it's, it when I first got it, I thought, oh, that doesn't look too strong compared to the last one, which had thicker arms. But as soon as you strap in the cameras. Um, it's pretty tough, and it, but you know you don't won't be throwing this around. Uh, let's be honest. Um, but it mounts, it's good, and I'm going to try it on. Uh, I've got a calm mount as well to stick on my bonnet. That'd be a good test. If it survives that, then I think it'll survive anything. Um, but a 60, 60 quid, sixty-two pound, I think it's it's pretty economical. Anyway, so what do you need to make this work? So you obviously need one of these. Uh, you've got to order one of these, um, and then you need to go. I, I'm I'm going to give you this one. This is the Gear Best site. Um, this is the cheapest I've seen these. Now it's these um, these are Xiaomi Yi's, obviously, um, and on here they're sixty two dollars. It's about forty two pounds, um, so it's uh, not a bad price um, for what it does, which is actually pretty, which is pretty damn good. Now, uh, on top of that, you'll need something like one of these. I mean, you know, it don't have to be this one, but they're usually about nine pound each, uh, so fifteen to twenty dollars, depending on what size you get. Um, but you need the high speed ones. Um, because it's going to do it in HD, especially if you would do the little hack, which I'm going to mention later on, which does even higher resolution. Um, but we'll come back to that. So you need, you need. So basically, what you need is you need six of these cameras, which come to uh, six four twenty four two hundred forty pound. Uh, you can I can get these for about seven or eight pounds. So six of them say I don't know about forty pound. Um, so it's about three ninety. Well, it's not even that, is it? Uh, and oh, sorry, and then of course you need this for sixty-two pounds. So that's what you need to get this to get the basic kit. Um, then put it all together, 
and this is the kind of uh, results. You know, this is this video here was taken with the version before this, and I'll show you what was going wrong. So if I play this, so you can see it's it's, it's quite it's, it's got nice. It's it's really really nice. I mean, it's thirty eight hundred by nine, just under nineteen hundred, eighteen seventy, I think it is, at thirty frames a second. Although it records at sixty frames a second, but I had to slow it down because most of the devices can't play sixty frames a second. But if you come right around here, can you see that black line? That's ba oh, it's gone now. I've switched on to another one, um, but you get this. Well, in fact, this one's actually quite good. So let's go back to the one with the tear. Okay, so if I go around here, you can see there's a bit of a tear. Now it's just a misalignment, and I messed up the alignment of the camera. So uh, that was the real problem. But the results weren't too bad, which obviously made me continue with it. So let's pause that and then go on to now. This is the results from this camera. Now, unfortunately, the lighting in the hall. We did this last night as a test, dancing. Um, so a little bit of a, a play here. As I said, the, the lighting, we, <laughs> we didn't really have good enough lighting in here, to be fair. Um, everyone's getting very excited about being 360 recorded. Um, just won't go a lot of turn around. Here we go. Let's do a little bit of a spin. There we go. There you go. Um, so it's, if I scroll around, you can see it's obviously recorded all around. And, and, and you can see here if I... It's showing in 20. It's actually obviously not. It's not 2160. It's actually um, 1870. But you know what YouTube's like. It scales out slightly. But the results are actually very good. And it's better if you've got some decent lighting. Uh, obviously, you get much better results. And I don't have to tell any of the filmmakers out there. Um, I think I've actually got another video. I actually can show you the, the better lighting with the previous version of the camera. So let me just show you that. So you can see if you've got decent lighting, see the quality of this is much much better um, but this was suffering with a bit of I was having trouble with my um, uh, tearing and so on but you can see the colors are nice and much brighter because you've got better lighting in there let's pause that okay so let's have a look at the camera so let me just switch right so as you can see we have six little Xiaomi um, and they they literally they fit in there really nicely now i've got all the uh, let's see if i can get under there so you can see i've um i've got a load of quality it makes it important to get some decent quality um the usb cables and they're all rigged up inside now you don't have to have these cables in if you don't want to um if you want to hide obviously and use a skinnier ca um a stand you don't need the cables because you know the batteries like you get about an hour um but you can run this on batteries or you can run it on um, for the USB mains, um, and it doesn't do a bad job. Actually, it hides most of the cables when you're, you're ripping it, or you could put a little cover over the bottom in the uh, in the video itself. But as you can see, it does a it does a pretty nice job. Um, now these things will um, the way they work is that you you need to switch them into 1280 by uh, 960, which is a 4:3 resolution. Sorry, 4:3 aspect ratio. Um, and also switch it to um, make sure it's in high resolution mode. Um, let's get back on. Switch back to that. Yeah, so you need to put it in uh, high resolution mode. Um, and uh, oh, the other thing to do is, which I, uh, is really useful, is uh, make sure you set it so it goes into um, it loads to video recorder first. Which you do that in the the settings. It's in the photo settings if you're looking. Um, in a video record set the video to come on first because it makes it easy unless you're doing photos that's fine but um, then uh, it, it just saves six presses when you have to keep switching them all around into it but so basically what you have to do is in fact I'll show you uh, let's go back and I'll show you what's involved it's not complicated at all, at all. so basically I'm just going to go around turn these all on okay so, so you can see that all the lights have come on now and you can see the little red lights here saying it's ready now to record um, and then we know it unfortunately we don't have a, a, a Wi-Fi clicker that does all of them at once unfortunately it's not available you can pay £1,200 more and get the GoPro version if you like I um, was a bit um, didn't really fancy that so I don't mind pressing the button so um, so basically so remember to make your clapping noise so if you turn them all on first okay we'll get them all turned on there we go so now as you can see they're all flashing that's now recording. So now what I want to do is I've got this. I'm going to do this again. Oh, let's me use my hands. Hang on. Right. So let's put that there for a second. I've got a clapper for doing this, but just do the usual. 
okay so it can sync now that will be syncing and I'm actually recording myself now um, but I might I might put that clip up there so people can see it um, but yeah so that that's basically always to it and when you finish just go around and stop them all um, plug them all into the um, uh, and obviously as you can see here I've got a whole lot of cables that root down and at the bottom yeah you can see how I've got that comes out and I plug them into this little box you can see that yeah see that plugs into a, it's just a little it's got a load of it's a hub um, interestingly though what I do is it's a, it takes USB 2's but it's got a USB 3 output and it actually does help uh, it gives it seems to give it a bit more bandwidth which is actually really useful and of course it will charge it as well at the same time so um, that's uh, I, th I think that's uh, that's pretty good I'm gonna include some links on here so you can see some sample videos um, you'll notice in my samples at the moment I've got the logo I've got, I'm using Pro uh, Auto Pano Pro uh, I, I gave up with the uh, non pro version because it was just ridiculously slow and um, for 150 pound 200 pound more you're better off getting the pro um, but it records at about on mine I've got a 780 GTX it records at about seven frames a second and as I said, I get, uh, I could, I, 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 my output is 3880 by 1870. Uh, and I set it to 30 frames a second so that everything can play it. Um, but it does, I have to cut it back from 60 frames a second. Um, so, uh, you know, that's, that's not, the, that's not the hardware. That's, that's just reality of using this on systems. Now I've noticed people saying about, oh, I'm using the really high end GoPros and they're still only outputting the same resolution. I I don't know. Uh, I, I think the quality of this is great, so um, I'm really pleased with it. I'm going to put some a lot of samples up there. Um, and now, if you're interested and you want to get it, fine. Uh, just go to Shapeways. I'll give you the links. Buy yourself a mount. Um, you can use get stand like this, or just use a normal, you know, a, little, a different stand, whatever you want, any kind of stand, because it's got a nice mounting hole, so you can bolt it on there. Um, if you do get it and, and uh, you want to give me some feedback, preferably nice, um, then I'm I'm all ears. Um, and if lots of people are interested, uh, I, I'll actually turn this into a into a product um, and and get all the cameras together, etc. It will go up in price, obviously, but uh, get the cameras together so it's a out of the box turnkey solution. But most it will cost is about four nine, four fifty, five hundred, something like that. Um, but I'll have the the the, the, the mounts made probably from aluminium, um, which will strengthen the whole thing right up. Um, but apart from that, I mean, it's pretty strong. I mean, I'm not going to go throwing it around the room, but um, it's, uh, I'm quite pleased with it. I uh, hope you are too. So um, thanks very much for your time, and might hear from you soon.